Stay away from my case. No angels have I met. I could have saved this girl. What's happening, YouTube? We are back for the next review of High Town. You see the wife is rolling with me. Say hello. hey. Hello. Yeah, this show is good enough to bring her out, so we're going to review it. If you're finding us for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to go over to shoplifegains.com. We're going to keep that movement going. This is why he took a knee. I can't breathe. And follow me and the fellas, the Life Gain Avengers, the Black Life Gain Avengers, Monday, Wednesday and Friday night at 9 p.m. And honey, this episode kind of, I don't want to say it slowed down, but it was just kind of a, um, just a coasting episode, so to speak. There wasn't any real big reveals, but it was still nonetheless a pretty good episode, wouldn't you say? Right, it just moves the storyline along. And it started out with our girl, Jackie the Mental Case, running up on the jump off to Krista. And look at him, right? Ain't he what you think of when you think of somebody who's got them some little sugar mama? Ain't he the classic look of what you think of? Yeah. Hell yeah, I stereotyped this punk ass. Yep, I did. And of course she's saying, look, I know you know who Krista is. Mm -hmm. I know you know who she is. Tell me where she's at. And what you remember what he said to her? He ain't uh, admit to it, right? He said, Oh if, if you want to know, oh. you gotta let me pump you in that uh, that butthole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, and did you see the offended look on her face, like like she should have looked disgusted, and she just got in her car. And she had off. a look like, dude, I don't even like what men have. Uh -huh. Let alone, I'ma like you touching me. Then she hopped in the car and she speeded off. Then we saw your boy, Officer Saber Ho Ray, pop up at the club. For what? Just random in the middle of the day. <laughs> just, just random pop up in the middle of the day. Sadie was hungry, and did you hear what she asked him? How you like how it tastes? Oh goodness, yeah. And what and what he say? You remember? Ah, uh, what he say? Like. Tastes like spearmint. Okay. Then we see Officer Saberho interrogating the guy that fell over last week. Now this was an interesting scene because he was placating this dude. This dude is a drug user, and most of these drug users they're easy to manipulate, and he's manipulating him, saying you have a career with the cops. Got the guy smiling. Next thing you know, he's going to get him to wear a wire. What would you think about that? <laughs> you just know something about to go wrong. Oh, yeah. First of all, you're asking, uh, you're asking someone who's addicted to a substance to be put in a high-pressure situation. Man, giving him no training. No training. Basically, he's sending him into the lion's den. You got so to you know. Right. You got to think on your feet. You know. And right. at the drop of a dime, you're going to have to be able to pivot. And he didn't say wear a wire. He said use your cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> so and here's an amateur <laughs> who don't know what he's doing, who you know clearly is about to give it all away. Give it up. Is about to go in there with a cell phone. Cell to phone. To try to record a conversation. And they're trying to get information on who Aceto's girlfriend is and also who Aceto's henchman's girlfriend is, the Eminem looking dude. Mm -hmm. Then we see our girl Jackie. She's on the phone and she's talking to our boy Junior about she knows someone that knows where Krista is located. And you know they're building a big story with this because Junior is holding from Jackie. He's the one that dumped the body. Mm -hmm. He's the one that dumped Krista's friend's body. To make you wonder what, what Jackie gonna say when she find out that he has something to do with it. Right, and they've been childhood friends. That, that's gonna be pure tea chaotic. Then we see Krista who is back in rehab and she's just telling her story. She has nowhere to go. She's relying on a sugar daddy. Um, it really seems like she's breaking down. What was you thinking when you saw this uh, this episode with Chris? I mean, I was proud that she was still trying to stay on the straight and narrow. Mm -hmm. um, you know, despite everything that was going on, she's still going to her meetings. She's still trying to stay, stay sober and clean. Mm -hmm. And so I was just happy she was doing it. Okay. Then we see <laughs> Jackie race down old boy who knew she was following, slams on brakes, almost Jackie hits him. And remember, this is not Jackie's car. She ain't supposed to be driving. Mm -hmm. Gets out the car with his weapon, destroys the headlight, and then Jackie gets out, and what does she say to him? Tell me where Krista is, or I'm gonna tell your wife. And he was like, I'm you don't have- to Blow up your spot. He says, the big bad man said, you ain't got my number. Uh -huh. And next thing you know, Jackie went Mr. Telephone Man. Call the landlines. People still got landlines? There's someone operating <laughs> my line. 
and I'm dialing your baby's number. Oh, good. <laughs> and she showed up dialed it, and he sung like a mockingbird. But that was a punk move to me. You done jumped out the car, destroying property. I'm thinking, look, dude, you so big and bad. Why don't you just take the phone out of her hand? Mm -hmm. But nah, he sung because no man wants to get in trouble over a jump off. We see Ray's uh, partner talking to a black guy that's also in the FBI. And he wants him to help figure out where is Aceto getting all these vehicles from. And instead of helping, do you remember what the black guy said? <laughs> Tell him I don't forget. <laughs> so uh, obviously Officer Saberho has burnt a lot of bridges trying to be just a, a Rambo, the force of freedom by his damn self. He thought he was going to send his partner in there to get the homeboy hookup on the information. Right, because he's black. <laughs> he thought that because his homeboy was black, that uh -huh. was going to help elevate him on some information. Uh -huh. Hey, you know what, man? Officer Saberho has got a lot of problems, y'all. I hope y'all are following that character. Then we see Jackie, once she got the information from, um, what was the, Anthony. Anthony gave her the information where, she, where, uh, where Crystal was located. She goes there, the janitor lady at first pretend like she don't speak no English. Uh -huh. And I'm sitting here like, does Jackie look like she's full American to you? And next thing you know, Jackie just start going off in Spanish. So the, 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 the maid opens the door, lets her in, and says, I'll give you two minutes. While Jackie is in there, she lays down the suitcase that she got from the crackhead friend of Krista. Mm -hmm. And she left a note with her number that says, call me. But go ahead. No, that doesn't. I mean, Jackie should know that all that letter is going to do is make that girl go on a run. I, right. I, it's not going to inspire her to call her. This was just dumb. Yeah. My point. This shows you that she does not work for the regular law enforcement. Yeah, because if anything, you should have just wait, staked out the place till she wait, came till home. Till she came home, yeah. And, you just spooked her. Yeah. She's gone now. And now she's going, and you don't know who she's going to be telling someone is looking for. Her. Right. So, so I, Jackie going to sit and thinking she about to get a phone call from this girl. That girl ain't calling you. But what was motivating Jackie to hurry up and get out of town. Was the Go fact back. that she got a phone call that Eddie Murphy has helped get her back on the Marine Force. Yeah. So she get that call, there's her boss saying, you can come back because we're short on men. So Jackie's excited, she's pumped that she might be back out there working. Then this scene was very funny. This is Junior's baby mama's mother. Now the story with them is the family's not fond of Junior because when the baby was born, he wasn't around, he was using drugs. And you remember what the mama said to Junior about where she was at when the baby was born and where he was at? I just remember her saying that, uh, telling the baby in her cuckoo voice that your grandma was there for you. I was the first person to hold you because your daddy wasn't there. <laughs> he ain't even show up at the hospital. Mm, no, he yeah. did. I mean, people have a lot of resentment for others who are, you know, on drugs or whatever because they, they burn a lot of bridges. They, they can destroy lot. lives. Yes. They can destroy. Like when people are trying to seek that high, no matter what it is, it's, it's like you will do anything to get that high, and then when you come off the high, you almost forget what you did. Yeah. You know, it's, uh -huh. it's, it's like you're completely incapacitated in the moment you're trying to get that fix. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, you'll never, ever be able to recreate that first hit. You steal stuff, you break, yeah, you, man. Know, you break people's trust, and then you show up like nothing happened, and they're looking at you like, <laughs> do you know what you did last but, time but you But you, you know what's black, folks. It's a forgiving <laughs> bunch of people, and we'll forgive somebody quick. But, to, yeah, I don't blame the mama for, for the way she's acting, and then you can't really blame... What's his name? Junior. Junior, because he's just trying to, get, he, now he's on the up and up and he's trying to get back in good with everybody. But you know what overcomes, the thing that can overcome your prior behavior is a, a record of good behavior mm -hmm. over time. Yeah. That's the only thing that can help. Mm -hmm. Then we see Jackie going back to her nurse friend, her true love, and I really believe Jackie has changed now. She comes up there and the girl says, this is the first time you've said sorry to me twice ever. Jackie had to apologize for getting her fender broke and also apologizing that she can't stay with her now. So she offered her a date. Why are you rolling your eyes? <laughs> because you think Jackie's a user too? Jackie is a user and the girl is just wrapped up in her, caught up in her spell. What spell? The spell of what? 
What? Jackie. Jackie. Said. Jackie got a good spell. She needs to tell Jackie to go on about her business. What? She knows she's getting used and she even invited her into the house. Jackie is showing more contrition, honey. Whatever. Jackie yeah. said sorry twice. You heard the girl say it. Mm -hmm. Jackie even offered her to a wine and roses date the Why next day. Why don't you day. just stop doing stuff if you gotta apologize for her? How about that? Crystal, this is her first time back in this woman's life. And already had to say sorry twice. Yeah, so give, her, she, oh, give, give her some time. <laughs> give, uh -huh. give Jackie some time. Bye, Jackie. Go on about your way. Lord have mercy. Good gracious sake, man. You just won't give that girl a break. Poor Jackie. Then we see Krista in the hotel. And at this point, she's reading that note that Jackie left. And immediately after she reads that note, she calls her benefactor, Anthony. Anthony says, B, get the hell out of my life. You too the, much trouble. That bitch Jackie called my wife. You too much trouble. You on your own. And you know when you have someone who's vulnerable like this woman, Krista, in NAA class, mm -hmm. stuck in between places, a friend dies, she's kind of on the run. When you have these series of bad luck and events happen to someone like this, it can only lead to them going back to you. But she's done well so far. She's tried. She's yeah. done well she's so fighting. far. She's fighting. She's fighting hard. And then we see old, old little Gomer Powell here that they done sent into the sent into this bar with a cell phone on, ladies and gentlemen. It's supposed to be, it's not even a wire, it's his cell phone. And he's in there acting very lucid. He in there talking, all he kept saying, what's to see those girlfriend's name? What's to see those girlfriend's name? And then Eminem decides, you know what, homeboy? I'm about to deck you for being too nosy. And trying to sleep with other people. <laughs> and sleeping with other people while. So homeboy was a little Casanova. Casanova Romeo. And then they come in there and save him. But at the same time, Officer Saberho arrests a see those boy Eminem is trying to get him to talk. And he was like, I ain't having none of it. Mm -hmm. Give me a lawyer. I ain't having none of it. Mm -hmm. And Officer Saberho, who's got a little Rambo in him, Got very wild, police brutality and all that. And what did we see from his cop buddy? The cop buddy pulled his ass outside the room and said, I'm not about to get in trouble over you. Mm -hmm. Police brutality, which is what we need to see on the streets every day, ladies and gentlemen. Other officers pulling their superiors and their counterparts to the side and say, look, bro, you're going too far. Mm -hmm. But you know, old Rambo here, he in too deep. And now they're trying to get hit this up uh, this cat to wear a wire when what you say happens to all of Ray's people that wear wires and see and his CIs? Oh, it seems like his people dying. They kick the bucket. Yeah, and it also seems like his partner's on to what he's doing with um, Frankie's girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, the partner is starting to, we're starting to get a little bit more about the partner now who could become a problem. Yeah. Could become so a problem. The partner know he's probably creeping around doing right. stuff with the girl that he ain't supposed to be doing and he just kind of blocked that out like I don't even want to know. He he probably <laughs> smelt her smelt her body on his breath. Oh goodness. And then we see Krista pulling up to the trap house, man. Then we see this weird goon. Why would you let her in there? You don't know her. It looked like they probably had a relationship. At some point in time, it didn't look like. Because the way they were talking and confiding each other later, I can only assume that they have some type of some type of relationship. Well, I guess we'll see in future episodes. Then, of course, old Officer Ray goes in there to tap that booty of Frank's Frank's girlfriend again. But what was very significant, this was one of the probably most important scenes of all this movie, was we're still trying to debate who's getting in too deep. Who likes the other one the most? But in this particular situation of love and passion, she revealed way too much information. Mm -hmm. She gave up the girlfriend's name <laughs> of Aceto. You remember that? Mm -hmm. Right as she's kicking Officer Ray out because Frank called, because Frank wanted to hear his son's breathing that night. So Ray basically led her into giving him information. He mm -hmm. just kind of slipped in while already, kind of acting like he already knew. Right. Knew everything he needed to know. And then she just took the bait and just started spilling everything. She sure did. She sure, that, which leads you to believe that maybe now she's getting too, too emotional and too deep. It's not just work for her. Maybe she likes him. And it makes you think that he has the upper hand in this situation. Kind of, sort of. But Lamont doesn't think so. No, no, no. I... I, I don't I don't think he's got I think that the fact that he went down there and licked them draws tells me he's in too deep the wrong way. Then we see Junior get a phone call at his baby mama's house and who was it, Crystal? Junior got a phone call. It oh. was Aceto. Mm -hmm. 
And Aceto is ice grilling him because he got a call from one of his homeboys mm -hmm. that his homeboy's girlfriend, who was in AA, said some bitch came sniffing around wanting to know about Krista. You remember the story Junior came up with? Just go. <laughs> he came up with you some... Your language. He came, this is the language of the show. Uh, he came uh, up with some cockamamie scheme about how it can't be true. He was the only one out there on the ocean. How can there possibly be someone that has seen something? And Osito, he looked like he took it and is going to go on about his business for now. Then we see our girl Jackie back on the work, back out there on the Marines. They're supposed to be telling these dudes that are doing something frivolous to oysters and going through the land. And they get a, they get a drone up to find them. Well, they get the drone up, and everybody in this group that's chasing wants to get this done quick and arrest them and go home. Jackie's like, nah, I know the guy. We can follow him, and he can lead us to where the big business is. Everybody's like, no, but the captain said go for it, and it paid out for him. They led him right to where they need to go. They did the arrest. Jackie's a hero. Why did they show us that? Because we thought Eddie Murphy was going to die. Mm -hmm. We was thinking it was going to be some big scene because they kept showing so much happiness. We thought they was just going to take us for a turn and let Eddie Murphy die. They didn't, but I'm sure that's going to come back to get us in the end. Then as we're getting close to the end of this show, we see Officer Ray, I mean FBI Agent Ray, go to Osito's girlfriend's father's shop, O'Donnell's. And he goes in there and he's talking to somebody pretending like he want to get his car fixed. And then who pops up? Osito. They show his whole body and they show his ass eating too. That boy is always eating something. Eating that same restaurant. Eating that like same restaurant where they don't give him his cheese. Breakfast, lunch, Bruh, and dinner. Look why like. you keep going there? They're not giving you the cheese. You, you ask for double cheese, they never give it to you. I don't know why you keep going. But they had an exchange. Who's got the biggest penis? Yada, yada, yada. And in the end, Aceto lets him know. You remember what Aceto said? Let him know. I know who you are. What did he say? I was driving a, a dark gray Escalade. Yep. My license plate is this, this, this. It just would be easy for you to track me. Yep. F nine one one zero zero four four. Whatever it was, he basically <laughs> said, I know who you are. You ain't slick. <laughs> yep. And then that kind of took Ray back. Cause you, did you see the look on Ray's face? He was like, oh, yes. And that basically lets you know that Aceto is not... Uh, He's, he's not, not some, gonna be as easy to take right. as you think he is. He's he, not. He, he's smart. Yeah, he's not some low level bum. Right. A Cedo is a boss. Right. A Cedo is probably the right hand to Frank. He's mm -hmm. got to be because this whole this whole season they've been basically seeming like they dumbing down a Cedo. He's just a fat snob that want to eat and yeah. and that scene right there lets he, you know he's a thinker. Yeah, a Cedo is playing chess, not checkers. Exactly. So. Then as we're getting to the end of this thing, we see Jackie celebrating her victory out there on the water. She's talking to whoever her commanding officer is, begging for her job back. And what did he say, Crystal? Oh, he gave it to her. He gave her his job back. And as she's celebrating, getting happy, she's th this chick keeps calling Junior. So Junior and her must have a deep relationship because she trusts Junior some kind of way. Letting her know she found Krista in a hotel, Junior just sitting there eating up everything, knowing Aceto is after somebody for it, but he's not giving Jackie up, which tells me maybe he's loyal to Jackie, because he still ain't gave her up yet. He could have gave her up. I mean, because it's not, well, yeah. He could have gave her up when Aceto was like some chick was looking, and he lied about he that. He's covering for her. Yeah, he's covering for her. And in Jackie's happiness, what does she do? They pour her a drink. She got a little too happy. She got a little too happy. And, and in true drink. addict form, honey, she knocked that thing back like Barry Bonds hitting home run record. Mm -hmm. Knocked it back. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, this was a this was a good episode. It didn't take us high. It didn't drag us low. But it was just a great setup for what they're going to be doing in the future. So, you got two train wrecks coming. One, Jackie. Two. Becky. Well, yeah, but the ones that stand out for me is Jackie is drinking again. Yep. So, that's... You know, who knows where that's going to lead. Yep. And then Krista is back doing drugs. Yep. And she confided in another drug addict yep. that she saw her friend by name, so she named her, 
get killed, and she said, "Don't tell nobody." Right. What? Well, how you, you gonna tell? tell nobody. How you gonna tell the the leader of the trap house? And he looked over at her like, like he ready to sing. He about to go tell Aceto. He about who yeah. know. If he is interacting with it, no, well, no, she didn't know a CEO. That no, was her friend. You talking about the dude? Who are you think the dude getting his drugs from? I'm talking about the yeah. He's probably about to go tell a CEO or whoever no. is associated with a CEO. Yeah. So you got that train wreck. You also got the love train wreck. Who's in love with who? Is Renee in love with Ray or Ray in love with Renee or they both in love with each other and they're going to spend this season off where they both want to just escape to the Himalaya. I mean, we've got a whole cluster you know what going on in this show and I'm here for it all. Thank you mm -hmm. for cleaning that up. Oh, but Thank you. Folks, never mind her. She's almost oh, close whatever. to delivering for y'all that want to know. Whatever. Only about four more weeks and baby mm -hmm. Ella be in some yeah. of these reviews too. Mm -hmm. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, get yourself a life game. Go to shoplifegains.com. Keep this movement going. Check out the t-shirt. This is why he took a knee. I can't breathe. Check me and the fellas out live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night at 9 p.m. And until that next sex is hell video. We'll see you.